Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this potion bowl in Blender. Let's get into it. So yeah, let's, let's hop into the tutorial. So first thing you want to do is you want to delete the default cube like always, and then shift A, add in a UV sphere. Now uh, click in the little tab in the bottom left and then just change the vert vertices to around 20 or 24, I think should work. 24 should be fine. And now press tab and then press face select and then just select hold shift and just select these top vertices oh. and yeah and just once you've selected them press uh right click and then press delete faces or you could just press x and then delete faces that's a shortcut anyway um so once you've done that now go into tab mode go on to vertices select press on the top vertice and then hold shift i think it is yeah hold shift and alt and you can select the whole circle layer. Now press E and then press Z to move it up like so. Now that should be fine. Or maybe press G and then Z to move it downwards if it's not what you think. And then press Tab as well and then press Control R. And then press left click and then press left click again. And that will just add another vertice to the middle of this area section thing. It will just add more vertices basically. And then now press tab and then add in a modifier, add a solidify modifier, increase the thickness to around there. That should be fine. And I'll press the drop down box and press apply. Now um what we're gonna do is face select, press shift and then alt, and then select this line here and then extrude along normals like so. And uh, just do it to about there. That should be fine. And now press right click and shade auto smooth. Now what we want to do, we want to start beveling. So what we want to do now is go into tab mode, go into vertice. Oh no, it's, uh, go into edge select. Now press this, uh, hold these vertices with shift and alt. Select this, this vertice, this vertice and this vertice. And then press control B bevel like so and then move your mouse wheel upwards for more vertices like so perfect and now add in your subdivision surface modifier or oh, actually i think this is this looks pretty good oh we'll add it anyway so add your subdivision surface modifier now that is your basic bottle complete now we need to add a shift a add in a circle Add in, yeah, add in a circle, press S to scale, press G and Z to move it up. And now we're just going to create like a label kind of thing, if that makes sense. Now press tab, press the vertices select, and then press E and then F, uh, Z. Let's extrude like that. And then press tab, press G and then Z to move it up, and then press S. Now we just want to extrude along normals, press A to select all, and then press this button to extrude on all normals like so and then press shade uh, right click and then shade auto smooth you can slow it down if that was too fast but yeah just creating like a little rim around uh, the bottle yeah nice okay now what we want to do is add in uh, the liquid inside because currently there is nothing in here so shift a add in a uv sphere and you can just leave the segments at 24. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Maybe change it to 32, actually. Yeah. Then press S. And you can see it's already lining up. Then press left click. So you just want to scale it so you can so it's inside the actual potion. Because you wouldn't want it there. Anyway, um, I'm going off track. What am I saying? Okay. So now um go into this side view. Just press this this button here to get into the side view. Um, and then press x-ray mode this one here and then press tab and then press vertice select now you want to hold down your left click and just drag along with your mouse and then press or uh, select all of these top bases and then press x press vertices and that deletes the top half so it's half a uv sphere now now you want to select the top vertices and then press f and then you want to press this which is rotate and then or press R to rotate and just press, and then just rotate it sideways. This and then press tab. Now you have some liquid inside the actual potion. And then press S to scale it downwards, like so, just in case. 
then and then press on x-ray mode here to get out of x-ray mode nice okay now you've created your basic kind of thing now what we want to do is we want to create the cork so shift a add in a cylinder press s to scale press g and then z to move it up press s to scale again just try to um fit it inside this little hole thing here nice okay so once you've done that press uh, tab face select press the top face and then press s and it just extrudes out like that and then press tab like that can't remember how I do this, so I think add a modifier, add a subdivision surface modifier, add a uh, change it to simple, change this level viewport to two, and then apply that, and then press tab. Yeah, and then that's just added a bunch of vertices. So go into vertices, select, and then select one of these sides here, and then press Control B, and that just basically creates an indent into the cork. So it looks more natural, I guess. Oh, don't don't do that. Don't extrude it too much. So it looks like that. Just extrude it enough. Like that. Okay. Just Control B. You get the point. Um. Yeah. Just do that along. Something like that. And now, just want to tab out and then shade auto smooth. And yeah, that looks like a cork kind of thing. Now, what you want to do is add in a label. Um, so shift A, add in a cube, press S to scale, press G and then Z to move it up. And now I just want to, you know how a name tag is? I just want to create that. I'll just try to, yeah. Like, okay, so go into tab mode, create a rectangle like this, and then press tab, then press control R, and then press left click, left click, and then press this. Go into vertices, select, press this vertice, and then press G and then Z, yeah or G and X, sorry, and then move it along like so, so it looks like a name tag. Now add a bevel modifier, and yeah, just apply that, and shade auto smooth. That has basically created like a little label thing, if I'm not wrong. Just line it up like so. Yeah, that has created like a little label thing, and then if it does look like that, you can just add another vertice it down like that maybe um, yeah that looks better yeah that looks nice okay yeah that's fine okay now for the lighting let's set up the lighting so what i normally do for lighting i get rid of everything here now of shading go into shading now i select world and i delete this this thing right here, I delete it, X to delete, and then go back into object view. Actually, I don't think that was necessary, but yeah, if you want to do that, you can. And then switch your render engine to cycles, go into viewport shading, and then press shift A. Add in a light, area light, G and then Z to move it up. Press S to scale. Now I'll change the watts to 300, yep. Yeah. 300 like so then just s to scale if you want it bigger and then change your shape to disk like so and then go into render engine again and then go all the way down to color management and then change your look to medium high contrast like so and now what you want to do is change your samples to however many you like normally i do around 500 500 and 256 that's what i normally do i don't know Whatever you guys want to do, you can do. Um, so now for we also want a backdrop as well, don't we? So shift A, add in a mesh, add in a plane, S to scale, G and then Z to move it up uh, downwards, and then S to scale, and then press uh tab mode, and then press vertice select, press this vertice, press E, and then Z move it upwards, and then press this vertice, and then press Ctrl B, and then just Scroll on your mouse wheel to make it add more vertices and then press tab that basically just creates a an infinity wall i guess i think that's what it's called anyway shift a add in a camera um change your resolution to 1080 by 1080 if that's what you like i normally post on instagram so that's what i change it to now press g and then 
X and then just align your camera. It's pretty basic to be honest. So I'm just lining up my camera here. Line it line it up so it looks like this and then select all of your material all of your models for your bottle and then just you select those and just rotate it and like use R to rotate it and it will just rotate the whole object and then press G to move it and then press S to scale and just make it the center frame if that makes sense and then now duplicate your light so press duplicate uh, shift D or you can just right click and press duplicate object which is what I do for some reason and yeah just add lights to both the sides like two ends yeah, lighting is a very important part of which I've recently learned. Um, it has to be taken seriously. <laughs> um, yeah, because I used to avoid doing lighting, much lighting. Maybe that's why my render don't do that. Just add a lighting to the right, left, and up top. Maybe, yeah. Now go into your camera view. Go into your material tab. Add a new material. Add a glass material. Change your roughness to. Point zero one, yeah, and then change your color to blue ish, like a bluish color, maybe. Yeah, I think that should work out fine. Uh, maybe, yeah, all right. or maybe I should increase material. Oh, no, that's fine. Maybe increase your roughness actually. I think increasing your roughness might actually look better, yeah, more cartoony. Okay, now select the inside liquid, maybe rotate it like that, and then just change the color of that. Principled, B, B, principled BSDF, maybe increase the roughness, change the look to blue, a blue color, and then uh, change the uh, material of your cork. So add a new material, just look for brown kind of material like that. That's perfect actually. And then just add that to your ring around the bottle. And then maybe for the label, I could do something else. Maybe for the label, okay, so you know oh, what the hell is happening here? Okay, so for the label, um, oh, so for the backdrop, I'm thinking um, a blue kind of material, a light blue. Something really light like that. That's a really light blue. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, I guess that could work. And then for the label, maybe make it. Okay, what I've done here is I've just added like a image texture to this little label here. I don't know if that works, kind of works how, um, but yeah, if you wanna do that, you can. And you kind of mess, mess around with the roughness of this. Um, can decrease or increase the roughness. I normally find increasing the roughness looks better, but it's your guys' choice. Okay, that should be it for today guys thank you for uh, watching and yeah there's that's how i created this potion bottle in blender if you want to see more tutorials like and subscribe and i'm also going to be hosting a live stream uh, just comment down below and i'll give you a date on when that will be peace out